gonna build me an old wooden river raft, float it to the Atlantic Ocean, leave behind everything that's made me sad. Come with me on my old wooden river raft. I'm Joanne from Missouri Television and I am here with Beth and Adam from the Singing Butcher Shop and they're going to show us their shop. Adam, what kind of business is this? This is a boutique meat shop in the uh, heart of Steelville, Missouri. Um, we uh, try to keep everything of, in a very artisan base. We make our own sausages and uh, bacon and um, you name it. I mean, if it's been done or it can be done, I try to do it. Why did you decide to put your business here in Stillville, Missouri? Uh, we fell in love with this uh, town and this building years ago. And uh, we ended up securing the building. And uh, originally we thought about putting a music shop in it. But um, as it just kind of worked out, we decided that you know, I've been a journeyman meat cutter for 20 plus something years, and I just thought it made more financial sense, you know, to turn it into a meat shop and offer the community a little, like a little Kenricks, you know, down here in Stillville, Missouri. 80 or so million years ago, an asteroid flew over our home, flew in here from outer space and left a nine mile hole in behind my place. Northern Rim runs behind the creek, steep as a San Francisco street. We hike up there when the weather is prime, hear the chanterelles popping in the summertime. This building looks pretty old. Is there any history in this building? Uh, there is. It was uh, erected in 1904 after there was, a, there was a big fire that took out a bunch of the buildings in the late 1800s. And uh, this was kind of the resurgence of that. And uh, it was a drugstore originally. I believe A.P. Horn owned it, is what I've heard. And it remained a drugstore for many years until changing many hands and um, had um, many metamorphoses until we were able to obtain it in February of 2020. That's fantastic. Could you show me some of your products, Yeah, I'd Adam? love to. These are pre-made and seasoned uh, meatballs and meatloafs that I do. For, so if you want to uh, just get home and, and throw it in the oven, then the prep work's already done for you. Homemade, homemade bacon, store-made bratwurst, um, different kinds of cheeses. Horseradish is kind of hard to find around here, so I got a good line of horseradish. Out of all things that are hard to find around town that we like, like a horseradish and that, I've tried to find good sources of it. And uh, the cornmeal mush is something that they tell me is big in the southern meat shop, so, and it's been selling here. So, What do you even do with it? They, they've been frying it and many different uh, flavors of bratwurst. I'm always experimenting. Uh, I have a few staples, like the mushroom Swiss and the jalapeno cherry, and local rabbit, you know? You can't have an oddball meat shop without oddball meat. American farm-raised catfish. We also ha carry a uh, swai, which is an ocean catfish, and we carry uh, jack salmon, which was big at the St. Louis restaurant Hodax back in the day. Beth, this is a family business. What's your part in it? Well, I do the front line, I wait on the customers, I do the book work, um, do the purchases, that kind of thing, and just all around customer service, that's what I've done for 30 years. Who helped you the most get started in your new business? Boy, 
it's a long list, but uh, they're all, you know, I'm happy to say that they're all my family and friends, you know, pretty much helped us put it all together. And what difficulties did you have starting up? Oh, every, from the getting the building to get, restoring it to the permits and licensing, there was many hurdles that tested our will. But, you know, all is well that ends well, and uh, we feel a great sense of self-accomplishment getting this business together. Did you find anything interesting when you was fixing the place up? By God, we did. <laughs> we found, I found a, a virgin pine floor joist under the floor that uh, my friend was able to build a guitar, Paul Dunn, out of Bourbon, Missouri. Built this guitar out of a floor joist. And uh, we found an eight foot around hand dug well from the late 1800s. Um, had crystal clear, 30 foot deep water, but we capped it. And we found a hidden basement with the old knife switch on the uh, floor joist as their light. We found many old antique bottles and uh, a whole bunch of history. Yeah, a whole bunch of history underneath this floor. Shirley School to P Highway. It ain't never so far away. what I did when I was bored I run my dirt bike down the pole peeler road the log in paths and the billy goat trails broken glass and empty shotgun shells getting down like it's a party cold in the middle of the woods on Pole Peeler Road. And why did you name it the Singing Butcher Shop? Because this is a blending of my two separate identities. This allows me to keep my music close and that uh, it's something that Beth and I can do together to become self-sustainable. So that this is the the, the jumping lily pads on ponds and we've worked hard all our lives and this is how we think we can finally become free as we're going to be. Well you sure got out of your comfort zone and <laughs> did a really good job with it. Is there anyone special you'd like to thank? I would love to thank the community for coming in and supporting us. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Every dollar Everybody. you spend here helps us and we thank appreciate you. you. And, and we intend to help you. Driving down double A I think of it like my long driveway Ten miles to south of town Smack dab middle of the Keysville Mounds We moved here from Festus Way Beef, it's what's for dinner <laughs> <laughs>